Today, I built enough of the rocket control panel to show how the pilot's joystick will control the rocket's thrusters. The control system has six components. First, an old PC joystick. These have analog interfaces. Second, a small interface board for the joystick. It's just two resistors to make a voltage divider plus a couple of connectors. Third, a CPU board. This will eventually be the mission clock, but I haven't populated it fully yet, so right now it just has a processor on it. Fourth, the thruster control board. This serves both as a display and to produce control inputs for the power transistors. Fifth, the HPAM, or High Power Auxiliary Module. This takes low current 5 volt control inputs and uses them to switch much larger 12 volt power to other devices. Finally, the solenoid air valve, which takes 12 volt power. This will control compressed air flowing into the rocket's thruster. The display board has two three digit numbers that show the current position of the joystick one for X and one for Y. Moving the joystick fully left to fully right moves the display from negative 99 to positive 99. The decimal point shows whether the processor thinks the joystick is in the left, center, or right positions. Similarly, the number on the right shows the joystick's up and down position. The threshold dot indicates down, center, or up. The rocket has three thrusters, one pointing forward, one left rear, and one right rear. When the CPU sees the joystick center up, it fires thruster one. Down and to the left, it fires thruster two. You can hear this one clicking because it's the one plugged in. Down and to the right, it fires thruster three. Once these are installed in the rocket, they'll control real blasts of compressed air.